Hey, so in these videos, we're going to be making 3D shapes out of voxels or cubes. And in this video, we're going to be just making a cube made out of cubes. In the video description, there's a file called voxel tools you're going to want to download. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on, on this code. It's just, you know, a basic way to make a new object in Unity. And basically what it allows us to do is anywhere you want in your code, you can type this. Make cube, maybe one, two, three. And this is going to make a cube at coordinate one, two, three. It's as simple as that. We're not really going to look at the, the rest in the voxel tool script. We're just going to use it. So somewhere in your project, you're going to want to have that voxel tool script. We also need to make a cube in the resources folder. So in Assets, if you don't have the folder, right-click, Create, Folder, Resources. Go into that, and it'll be probably empty. You need to make a cube. So top left, Game Object, 3D Object, Cube. And so just click and drag on the left here, and click and drag it into your Resources folder. And now top left, we can delete this cube, because now we have the idea of a cube in resources. It's called a prefab. So now in assets, maybe make a folder scripts, right click, create, C sharp script. We're going to call it voxel cube, enter, and open that up. So update happens a lot. We don't need this. We only need start. So we're going to write all our code in here because it's going to happen once when it starts. So to make a cube made up of cubes, we're going to do three for loops inside each other. So here's how our three for loops are going to work. We know how to make one cube. That's just voxel tools that make cube. Well, if we want to make a bunch of tools, this is what one for loop is for. It can do the same thing over and over again. So we just did the same thing eight times. So that's a for loop. We're doing it once. Well, we just made eight cubes. What if I want to make eight cubes eight times? So we're going to do a for loop inside that for loop. So this thing that we just made happen, I want to make this happen eight times. Okay, or five in this case. And so that's two for loops. Well, what if all of this, I want this to happen eight times? So I'm going to make this happen again and again and again. And now it's getting a little crazy, but it'll look better when we do it in Unity. So that's what we're going to write here. We're going to make a for loop. Our number i is going to start at 0. It's going to keep going as long as i is less than 8. And we're going to add 1 to i each time. I'm going to make 3. And watch out here. you got to change all the i's here to j. All three of them. And all the i's here to k. And now I can type voxel tools make cube ijk with the semicolon so that's going to be repeating just like I said so i is going to happen i is going to go from 0 to 7 that's 8 times because we're counting 0 every single time this happens we're also going to do all this so every for you know Let's say i is 0. Well, we're going to go through j from 0 to 7, all the same. Every single time also that we go for each j, we're going to do this. So actually, this thing in here is happening how many times? Well, it's 8 times 8 times 8. So that's 512 times, actually, it's making a cube. And now you got to watch out. I didn't just say 1, 2, 3, because this would make... 512 cubes at the same spot. Instead, these numbers, i, j, k, are changing each time. So we're going to do all those combinations for every position. And save that. Back into Unity. So right now, this uh, voxel cube script is just a text file on my computer. You actually need to attach it to the game and tell the game to use it. So here on the, on the top left, you can actually click anything really you want. I'll just click, uh, I guess, the ground. Scroll to the bottom on the right. Add component. Voxel cube. So now it's attached to the game, and when I press play, 
it made a whole bunch of cubes and they're actually just packed together tightly. Now if I pause it, click the pause button, you can see, you know, you can click an individual cube and see it. This is pretty neat. I'm going to add one thing to make this a little more exciting. So back into our code here, I'm going to actually put update back. So this is going to happen maybe 60 times a second. The, the code in here happens a lot all the time. So a lot I'm going to be checking if, so if we just press the, the uh, keyboard key Q, what we're going to do then, voxel tools, make all cubes fall. This is something else I added in Voxel Tools, so I'm going to save this. Actually, one more little exciting thing. I'm going to make this appear in the sky a little bit. So instead of J, which is the height, instead of that going from 0 to 7, I'm going to add 5. So now it goes from 5 to 12. I'm going to save that. Press play. So we've got this big cube in the sky, but it looks like just one cube, but it's not. If I press Q, there you go. It's obviously a bunch of cubes. So I thought I'd try one last fun thing. This here is a cube made of cubes, but it looks like by some random-ish rule, uh, it's deciding not to make some of them. So we'll just add that in here. Every time, instead of just making a cube, we're actually going to check if a random number that's either going to be 0 or 1, if it's 0, then we're going to make the cube. So save that, and let's see what we have now. Cool. So there you go. Now if I press my Q. And the next video, we're going to do some more complicated rules than that and we'll make some more interesting shapes. So there you go.